and the winner of Miss South Africa 2016 is Ntanda Yankosi! Always a powerful moment when their name is announced and Miss South Africa is introduced to the country and she is here. And I'm going to call her on to come and join us for the Sport at 10 quiz. Uh, Miss South Africa 2016. I, I just have to keep quiet because the walk is <laughs> the walk is every, and then the wave like oh. do you practice the the there you go there's there that wave go. that they all know how to do um take a seat so I can get straight into grilling you and Tando do that no I'm, I have to that's why I'm paid <laughs> to do I have to get into the grill which starts with you're a qualified teacher yes other than being Miss South Africa yeah. 2016 have you taught have you been in schools not i did it for my practicals but i never actually went through a whole year into teaching but i am a qualified teacher and i did my honors last year why so teaching why teaching it's a direct way to have an influence into our future you want to influence the future yes. by teaching the future exactly that's the best way you can do it it's happening the future is happening in our classrooms today so that's the best way you can do it <laughs> I mean, I mean I'm, if I'm in standard nine and I'm like, you <laughs> try to I tell me something, I'm like, look, I'm like, no, this is not South Africa. Luckily, I teach primary schools. <laughs> oh, so it's primary yeah, schools, so, so safe. I think I'm safe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're from Mpumalanga. Yeah. Pitretif. Yeah. And then from Pitretif, you still have to go outside Gangani. <laughs> so most South Africans already don't even know where Pitretif is. Yeah. Ikas Lako, you're from the Kas? Yes, I am. It's Andukan. Kasi kasi. Kasi kasi. Yeah, Kaya, we have our tuck shop Karaji with my dad. And yeah, so Ndando se look shin vel. And is it true Guti Vele, one street? Yeah, you know what? Uh, it is, ne? But you know, there's so much happening that you don't even pay attention that it's only one street. But it is one street, yeah. So now that you're in the bright no, lights, uh, <laughs> not even. Big I'm city. not blinded at all. Uh -huh. I've been in the city for six years because uh -huh. I studied this side. So it's not big city bright lights, not at all. The other thing that was interesting is part of your prizes, because Miss South Africa <laughs> comes with some huge prizes, two million rands worth of prizes when you, uh, in terms of what you mm. get if you add it oh. all together. One of the things was you saw snow for the first time. For the first time in my life, snow I was overseas. from Vitrativ to snow. I imagine. Where did you go? <laughs> we went to Austria in, Neus in a village called Neustift. It was so amazing. For Thank skiing. You. Yes. Who would have ever thought I'd go skiing? I never thought my first trip overseas would be skiing, but I'm so glad they chose it for me because it's not something I would have chosen for myself, and it was such a great experience. There's also something else that you do with Miss South Africa. That's yeah. this is the thing that's very powerful for me. You can give away a bursary. Yeah. You've got like 240,000 Rand that yeah. you like just in the back of your pocket. Definitely. That you can say, you I like. Yes. Is that the case? Yes, it you is. You can just Thanks. say to this person, <laughs> You can go to Varsity yeah. College, I'm giving you that opportunity. Definitely, Varsity College allowed me the opportunity to give to women that have missed the chance to go and study. So if you're still working and you want to study something part-time, Varsity College gave me a couple of bursaries to say, well, there you go, go do your part-time studies and get your degree. Have you seen anyone that you've felt? So far, there are a couple of people we've identified, but it's only going to start happening in Women's Month. And Celsi, one of the others, yes. has given you 200,000 Rand yeah. to walk around in here and say, <laughs> if you're needy, uh, I yeah. can give you money. If you. I think uh, it's you're just like a walking Mother cash, rush, <laughs> ca cash in jail. You, you can uh, change lives. Yeah, you can actually. With Sun International Celsi, they gave me that 200,000 that I can actually support causes that I believe in. For instance, two weeks ago, I did Dignity Dreams, which is a drive that actually gives girls sanitary towels from rural areas. So, I mean, we all know how girls in rural areas don't have pads. And this actually gives them that to give them the opportunity to go to school and they don't have to worry about their period. So, it's certain things like that. I was like, okay, that's a brilliant cause and I want to chip into that which football team do you support i support south africa <laughs> oh. but you were once miss mommy lodi sundowns 2012 miss mommy lodi sundowns of exposure i mean i expose that i expose that she was this yeah yes. you thought you recognized it it's the same one <laughs> let's move on to the sport of 10 quiz miss sa is with us now she's moved on from those days she's no longer a club she just looks down at all the clubs and says you're all, all my children mine, exactly. all my children i've got the sport of 10 cup oh, which okay. you can't have that's priceless but the cupcakes right. you can okay. i need you to identify our massive coaches in South Africa. So can you tell me who this is? Because you miss South Africa. You've got to know the big <laughs> names in SA Sport. 
You know, I know this lady, she's a coach for Banyana Banyana. Thank you. What I usually, how I remember her name is, it's not Paw Paw, but it's Paw. That's her surname. Just remind me of the name again. Vera. 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 Pow. Vera Pow. Vera Pow, yes. I'm going to give it to you because you had Pow, Paw, Paw, whatever. Yes, that's how I remember it. Okay, so can you identify this national coach? Uh, and if you can't, then, hey, the Spotted Town cupcakes are not going to come uh, your way tonight. I want those cupcakes. Okay, not oh. in Baweezy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the coach? The coach of uh, Springboks is Alistair Kutsia. Why on that song? You just like, yeah, there you are. You just like, just, just, like, yeah, just I miss SA, I must know these things. Okay, so <laughs> now we've got the Olympic Games coming up. Yeah. That's the big thing, right? Definitely. We're sending two teams. Vera's team is going with Banyana Banyana. Under-23s are going. The national coach for the under-23s is in screen right now. He's taking our team there. Who is it? Um, I think I'll call it It's, um... Something the gamma. You know, I always remember surnames, guys. Mm. I don't know. I'm mm. just that, that respectful. Mm. I'm just like Mr. De Gama. Oh, Mr. De Gama. Yeah, Mr. Kutsia. Thank you. <laughs> Owen De Gama, oh, the ODG. <laughs> He's the man. Well, I'm going to give you three out of three, Mr. Yeah, Say. I'm going to give you so three much. out of three. <laughs> so, before I wrap things up, okay, because I normally, let me let me do this because, okay, because okay, uh, I'm going to take this here to you. The Sport of Ten Cup cakes are yours. So, oh, thank congratulations. You. Thank you. Don't spend them all in one place. Oh. Don't eat them all at the same time because your sash will fall off <laughs> from uh, getting a bit fatter. And my jokes are not the ones that you want to hear at this time of the day because Shampoonizer is traveling the country right now. He is today as we speak with joyous celebration. I'm crossing back to Shampoonizer. Shampoonino, what have you got for us? Take us home. Yeah, Thomas, now I know I'm far away, but I have a complaint today. Wait till now, Thomas, every time I'm not on studio, you guys are bringing beautiful women. Now you have me South Africa there, and I'm not there. Now when I'm there, who do you bring? Eh? Edward Motali, <laughs> Mom Bush. Hmm? You go all out, then tell us Steve Compella, come on. No, Joe, this thing has to stop on faith. But you know what? I know people in South Africa are saying, yo, Euro 2016, yeah, it's nice, we should have it here. You can't have it here. It's expensive. That's why it's the only tournament named after a currency. Euro. When I go high, Thomas, everyone, if you're not watching Sport at 10, what are you doing? We I got nothing more to say after that. Thank you, Miss South Africa, for being with us. Thank you for having me. And if you're not watching Sport at 10, what, what are, are you doing? doing? Good night.